watch the breakdown. What's up, guys? What's going on? Breakdown, episode number 28, season 3. Uh, I'm going to stick with that plus 1, or no, minus 1, plus 2. And uh, yes, Tone's not here. Anyway, uh, you want to get to Creek? Oh, we here th every Thursday on Thursday. <laughs> anyway, no, um, seriously, I think we have a little clip of what, you know, of Tone. You should flash it. Uh, shout out to Dr. Souls 11 for this one. Stay tuned. Um, so, KB to my left, K Black. One. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, what is it? K KV one A C K two three. At is that backwards? Is that backwards? At K B one A C K twenty three. Just in case. You're just in case you're not following her already. Or you can just Follow go to the description me. and hit the button. Because it goes right to your Instagram. Oh really? Chill. Uh I am the okay, whatever who cares. First up this Get week out. we got the thirteenth KD eleven Peach Jam. Those are nice. Call away fire. If next. you like Katie, they're nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, Nike React Element 87. Uh, two colorways. You got fire. this Tom Sachs clear and black. Dope, 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 dope. Under Armour Curry 5, I think is fire. Gray, low, they're, gum bottom. I, I definitely think it's. That's a gum bottom. It looks kind of orangey. Uh, that's not a gum bottom. It's gummy. It's definitely not. It's gummy. But okay. It's gummy. We'll Google it. I guess it's gum bottom for Under Armour. <laughs> You Google it. it. It's fucking gummy looking. <laughs> it's orange. Uh, Adidas, uh, what is this? Pharrell? BYW? Boost Your Way? Just Finally figured out what that was. My insteps hurt just looking at it. I, don't, I heard they're super comfortable. Yo, like that, I've the heard. laces tie on the ins. Nah, no, I'm not cool with that. Oh, shout out to Red Bull, even though I'm drinking dull pineapple juice. I already drank my Red Bull in the first time we shot this. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got two colorways of that Pharrell business. Uh, it's alright. I'm not, I'm not really with it. Jordan Future 185 Retail Men's. Trish. You know you skipped the shoe, right? Adidas Harden LS2. Just giving you a heads up. Looks like a filling pieces. Um, not with it at all. Looks like a fucking with dress it. shoe. Jordan Future we just spoke about, which I thought dropped like two and a half, three years ago, but I guess I was wrong. Looks just like... I, I could swear this that shit came shoe out That dropped, already. not that colorway. I swear that colorway came out already. I've never seen it. Anyway, uh, Mita Adidas has a little pack coming out. NMD R1 and a Stan Smith. Um, hmm. Not with it. Yeah, it's a little confusing. I am not with the shits. Definitely not. Right, uh, yeah, it's a lot going on. Super. This man, the this man Smith looks like the uh, the Stan Smith looks like a uh, what is that acronym? What I said yes. before acronym with the zipper Air on the Force side. One. Yeah, trash. Uh, next up, we got Doncey's Jordan Legacy 312, combining an Air Jordan 1 and Air Jordan 3 and the Alpha Force Low. There's a picture of the Alpha Force Low from the early or late 80s, I believe it was. Anyway, um, the only colorway that is appeasing is the lime green colorway. Uh, definitely how I'm looking at that. Uh, otherwise, right. it's just it's just a lot going on in the shoe. Three, one of those one. shoes you might like not get and regret it. It's one of those shoes I might not get, look at on somebody's feet and be like, I can yeah, but I would off. regret getting any of these colors. Yeah, the like, hot lava color. The only like color the I'd shit. regret getting is that color. Yeah, is that lime green shit. I mean, the royal is is royal. Like, it just has reminiscent. The front is really long. Let's right? just save this for afterthoughts anyway. Uh, Air Jordan 5 Light Aqua in the grade school, preschool sizes. They're dope, but they're $140 for preschool. Yeah, that's, that's quite, quite uh, a, it's a hefty hit. If you need, uh, your kitties need a Jordan 5. Uh, and Sunday, we got Nike Kyrie Low 1 in two different colorways, a white and a black. Not going to get into it too much because it's just whatever. And then also Adidas Harden Volume 2, which is the actual sneaker from before, in a American flag colorway, it looks like. Yeah, no. It looks better than the low. I'll, I'll give it that. But other than that, hmm. Yeah. After thoughts? After thoughts. Chilling. Uh, that's, that's one. Because yeah. one-handed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Hey, whoa, 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 wax on, wax off. Chill out, Chief. What the fuck? Um, so we're going to talk about the 312 from Don C, but I feel like we did enough of that in the episode, so whatever, trash that. And then the Element React 87, uh, they just dropped on sneakers and sold out immediately, or wrapper picked up immediately. Uh, I literally just tapped it and it was gone, so that's pretty much out for that. So bots have definitely taken over. Um, not much more on afterthoughts on our end, so we're going to skip over to viewer questions, try to break down the episode into segments, so you can... Let me do the first one, fuck it. 
What's the first one? Carlos D. Ye Wait, did you do this one last no, time? No, you did. I did? Year, uh, when was the last time you purchased a shoe that you loved but absolutely hated the way it looked on your feet? And did you keep them and for how long did you keep oh, them? I did it. I did do it last time. You did, right? Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to go with the Ryan City socks. Is that what they are? The old pink what, whatever that pink one was from the soccer anyway, pack. I put them on and they just looked so weird. So. Yeah. No good. And uh, mine were the Desert Rat 500s, the Super Moon Yellow that I waited mad long for, thought that they would look dope on feet, and did not. Yeah, not feeling it. Uh, next up, Lester Solomon, K Beast, and we hear your uh, tone for the win this week. Question, if I want to get collapsed from the past to wear, how far back is reasonable before wear and tear are a factor? Uh, I miss the ASICs era and just a ton of collabs that I'm interested in copying. You want to take this? I mean, a lot of the old ASICs collabs are trash. But I still, the colorways are so fire. So I see what you're saying. But Mike's going to go with eight or nine years over here. I mean, we, uh, we shot this already, so she knows what I'm <laughs> going to say. Uh, basically, you want to go eight or nine years um, is, is like the max I would go for a DS pair of shoes. Uh, you can go a little bit more than that. Um, I mean, we're in 2008. 2009 was like a big year for collabs. Uh, 2000 and 2001 were like three really good, like, Fucking. 2015 had a lot of really good collabs. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking like OG, OG shit. All right, but. So for wear and tear reasons, you don't want to go further than that, uh, especially on DS. If they're worn and they still look good, you can still, you, you can get away with like 10 years. It's fine because they've been worn already and they have that, that oxidation idea is out. But anything still in the box that long is no good for you. Let's see what else we got. You can take the next question. Deadstock Empire. Dabs for the win. You're... Question, we saw athletes dominate the sneaker collaborations in the 90s and early 2000s, such as MJ, Penny, Iverson, Kobe, LeBron, and now it seems like rappers and celebrities are the new wave, like Kanye, Pharrell, Travis Scott, Rihanna. What or who do you think will be the next in line to us, into the, to bring us probably, to the next or 20 years? 10 or 20, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with social media influencers, or just influencers in general. Uh, I was just reading something right now that, that Vin Diesel wants two million a tweet to talk about his next movie from like the producers or whatever it is. So for him to like do that, he, they, he wants two million dollars. That's insane. But at the same time, like that's where it's leading because people are following the stars and influencers. So it, you saw the evolution for music, hip hop, basketball. I feel like they were they were like hand in hand throughout the entire time. So like whatever rappers were wearing, like basketball stars were wearing and vice versa. You're seeing a lot more designers. Like Kanye and Rihanna like are actually designing for them even though they're creating lines. So it's a little bit different. But as far as influence goes, I, I would definitely say like social media and uh, those kind of personalities, reality stars, shit like that, that have large followings are the, the new wave commercial. Oh shit. Uh, next up, David I got Blockman. it. David Blockman. Uh, OG Summit Toes for the win. Can't fuck with OG Ronnie Heat. K Beaston. Year. What uh, what? <laughs> what's the ultimate sneaker, summer sneaker silhouette? July 3 for me. I said press though. But... I mean, call it preference, and that's your preference. Next up, GJ Swaver. Uh, he has a lot to say because we did miss him down in Dallas. He is in uh, the Texas area, and it was just a bad. Pass by. He's coming here though. I'm calling you out for that. Kicks and cocktails. So that, that should definitely happen for DJ Swaver in NYC. But question, what was your honest opinion about your experience at SneakerCon Dallas? Um, it was my first time going. I was there literally for 10 minutes and left beyond disappointed. Concur, my good friend. Concur. Definitely was whack. I, de I definitely, well, well you go ahead. I literally wanted to be there for 10 minutes, but I was there for a little longer, but it was waste. I didn't even look at any shoes. What? Anyway, uh, yeah, I did basically 10 minutes. Shout out Ryan Swanger. We did a walkthrough, pass by, looking for uh, some runners, which they had none of. It, it's always the same thing. It, it's very, it's a lackluster approach. Uh, uh, yeah, next question. Escobar season has returned. Yo. <laughs> Sneaker battle was fire. Mike with the win, though. Question. What's the last pair of kicks y'all got? Air Max One, just do it, white and orange. Uh, React Element Eighty Seven. Cause you're too cool for school. Uh, that was the question. I wasn't uh, fucking flaunting the shit. Uh, Seven to Vindicin. 
Seven Toes <laughs> with the classic win. Question, what is the best Ronnie colorway of all time? Volcano, Salmon Toe, or anything else? Yeah. Oh, that was very... You should be like on WWE. That'd be like the perfect gig for you. Let's you get it? ready to... Rum no, God. No, that's... That's that Bruce boxing? Buffer. That's Bruce Buffer. And you got the sports confused. Bruce Buffer, baby. Anyways, um, what... <laughs> I like the old Ronnie shit, like 252 pack. I'm sick of all this. Well, which is the best colorway of all time, goddammit? I mean, it might be. Volcano. You gonna say Samito? You can say Volcano. Yeah. Volcano? I'm gonna say Volcano. Classic. I, Never go out of style. I feel like the Samito colorway is the best colorway of all time because it's on the Daytona, which is my favorite, possibly my favorite Ronnie of all time. Possibly. And it didn't come in my size. Wah, wah. Uh, cause it's got that, that navy and the salmon aesthetic. Otherwise, the mint. All right, Mark Marquez, Kate Beeston gets my vote this week. Which archive silhouette would each of you bring back from any company and why? That's next week's question because I need like a week to think about this. Um, You're so everybody in the comment <laughs> section, if you guys want to attempt to answer this question in the comment section, I will definitely be posting your answers next week with Mark's question. So shout out to Mark Marquez for that one. Uh, next up, we got Relos. Dad took this one those element 87s are sexy so this weekend's boat so this weekend bodega released the yeezy 500 dropping a password on their ig story and changing the name to steve urkel related names to mess up bot keywords how do you guys feel about these random methods shops are resorting to and what's the best way you've seen for combating bots online and in store i hear the camp out app is great for raffles it's great for everything it's good for uh you know basically whatever you want to do um <laughs> I like the fact that they're taking the time out to acknowledge that bots are a big factor in their online sales. And obviously it's become more and more relevant that people are getting pissed off about not being able to get shoes, you know, by just getting online and trying it by hand. So uh, I appreciate their attempts. You know, I'm sure they'll find a way to, to round it out, but you know, it, it, it's good. It, it's a good thing to see that they give a fuck, you know? No? All right. That Red Bull's really... They don't give a fuck. Starting to get my system. I know, uh, you're like, like a crack fiend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this week, if you guys check out the description section, there should be a little voting poll where you could just click KB or Mike. I'm not sure if I'm going to put guys, her name. how do I lose by one vote? It is what it is, guy. Not like 50% of you didn't vote. It came out to like 56 or 55 people voted last week out of 98 comments. So, I mean, it's a pretty good ratio. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good ratio. But I could have won with those other... Like 89 points. people fucking used hashtag KBeaston, so that's good. Hey. I'm not holding that. You gotta... I gotta take my shoe. Oh, we're do oh, are we doing that? All right. Sneaker battle. All right. It's a 90 lime green from UK only. Cool. <laughs> cool. Take this. Got you. Got you, fam bam. I also have to stand in front of the camera and block the shit off. This is Hannon, Deodora... It is super fire, made in Italy. I like the shoe, it's good. You better be wearing those today. I plan on it. Uh, right after I'm done editing this episode. Next up we got, so Amber Pfizer, thank you for the, uh, the voting suggestion. I did look it up, so hopefully I can get it to work this week. Uh, let's go to hashtag the breakdown in your Instagram post. We got a couple people in this bad boy. I'm gonna turn it sideways and hopefully it works. We got Cerebral Kicks in the Cherry 11 Lows. Chilling, Chilling out here. Next up, we got Lynch, 1979. Shout out, Lynch. That's a nice shot, Lynch. J. Crew, Blue Ribbon. Fuck with it. Next up, we got Everywhere Dave in the Air Max 97 1, Sean Weatherspoon. Yeah, those are fire. LeFron James. Uh, shout out to LeFron James. Mike never shot you out, but I will. I, I see you. Who do you think put him in here this week? You picked his fucking picture, but you never shot him out. He I wants a special it, shot out. I picked him, him on him purpose. A one. I picked him on purpose. He just gave him a special shot out. Shout out to LeFron James. <laughs> Back over here. We got Dr. Souls 11. Shout out to Dr. Souls 11. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Pretty funny post, this guy. And that is it for this week. So if you guys want to shout out from the Instagram post and get your Instagram post thrown up here. We're not here. We're not here. Should be the hashtag. That, okay, all right. Oh yeah, I like that stuff. Uh, what we, we not doing? here, hashtag this week, because Tone, so we not here. <laughs> if you want a shout out for the Instagram post, you want a shout out, uh, use hashtag the breakdown spelled with a zero in your Instagram post, I'll throw it across here. And next week, if you want a shout out in the episode, which we're about to get into right now, um, use hashtag we not, not here. here.
We definitely not here. Because he's not here. Uh, <laughs> let me get into it. Where'd it go? Shout out. You want to start oh, doing yeah. Black Thunder. I'll take over. Rome while. the DJ, Lester Solomon, Dr. Souls 11, Al V2, Mark Marquez, Yuki Graphics, James Edwardson, Ralph Torbio, Su Sulal Khan, Mali Mal. I can't go, you go. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, Ekaram32, Anthony Dudalo, <laughs> DS Beater, CH Sneakers, JK, DJ Frankie Foch, D Square, Martel W, Droppin, David Blockman, and Mazinga, David McFly, J Trainer the Third, Buckeye City Soul, UD Senior Zhang, Michael Jenkins, T Thompson, Shonoff808, uh, Legend 7, GG Wright. Billy Batak, yeah. Twilson, Joseph Gomez, Gooch305, what up? 100 Stacks, what up? Um, Sham Kitling, Shu Peron1, Anthony Pichardo, Walter Munoz, uh, Ryan Swanger, what up, Swangs? Uh, Just C215, Acro, MK, Johnny V, you're still a chili pepper, Diana Lopez, you're the best out in Dallas. Um, uh, Jimmy Vase, Peter Dolanoff, and Jim Collins. All right, that was the fucking whole thing there. Uh, we can pop back into a picture of the two of us now. If you guys want a shout out next week, we already told you what to do. Check the comment section for the voting poll if you guys want to vote for either or sneaker. If you want to see Tone back here next week, hashtag we yeah, not here. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, he'll show up. Anyway, uh, thanks for everybody who subscribed. Shout out to the Monday Midsole. You want to take over on that one? No, shout out to everybody on the Monday Mitchell. Shout, shout out to, to Unbox, Unbox yeah. Mike. Uh, Unbox that, sorry, my bad. Okay. Uh, Molly Mall, shout out to Polo and Jay's Market. Shout out to One Legged Lister. Uh, shout out to Buckeye City Soul. Shout out to really everybody that fucks with the but channel. If none of you subscribe. comment in the comment section, that means you ain't watching the show, so I'm not shouting you out anymore next week. Just oh, saying. so that, that's her way of saying if you ain't in the comment section, you ain't shit. Um, no, well, if you, didn't shot, if you get a shout out and you don't, whatever. Uh, <laughs> shout out to exactly. um, who else we got? Shout out to Didi, kicking it with Didi. Shout out to who shout else? Out to the group chat. Shout out to the group chat. Shout out to Didi Chillin Blockman group chat. Uh, for, the, for the hard ass questions. Shout out to Milton the fucking flavors, man. Uh, Shil Milton, you guys don't follow him. You should definitely do that. Shout this gram pops up at the back there. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, let's get out of here. Bye later. Peace.